breaking news out of Reading. The man police say is responsible for that double stabbing is waiting to face a judge. So that man initially ran from the crime scene. Ultimately, officers tracked him down and arrested him. NBC 10's Manash Kumgwari is live outside Woburn District Court this morning where that man is set to be arraigned here. Manash, what can you tell us? Well, I can tell you that the two people that are at the hospital are expected to survive here at the Woburn District Court. Police and court officials not releasing that man's name. They do, however, confirm he is in the courtroom awaiting his appearance. This was kind of shocking to hear. I'm just kind of hoping everything's okay. After hearing two people were stabbed in the middle of the night on Bond Street in Reading. So I was on the night shift. As soon as she got off work Tuesday morning, Megan Gilligan immediately drove to the scene, fearing the worst for the people she knows living on this street. I have family texting me also, hoping that they're okay because they're not getting back to them. So I just wanted to stop by and see if there's anything I could do. Reading police say they were called to the area just after midnight on reports of a stabbing. They arrived to find two people with wounds at a home. Paramedics treated them at the scene before transporting them to a nearby hospital. It's like a big family um, city, so it's tough hearing that. Police quickly determined that a 27-year-old six-foot man was the one responsible before realizing that he ran away from the scene with a razor blade and or a box cutter. With the help of Mass State Police and nearby local police departments using canines and a drone unit, police were eventually able to track him down three hours later, less than half a mile from the scene on Hartshorn Street, and without struggle, caught and arrested him. It's an early investigation. We don't have everything right now with the charges. They're still looking into it, but we do know that the suspect has been arrested and there's no danger to the public. Well, when that 27-year-old is arraigned sometime today, we'll expect to learn the circumstances that led up to this incident, how that man is related to the two victims, if at all, and the exact list of charges he now faces. But for right now, we're live here in Woburn. Manash Kungwari, NBC10 Boston.